Michael Bisman. He's part of MMA history because of that one knockout. You know, he's most known for, for being knocked out by me. great knockout but in my mind it wasn't my biggest accomplishment by any means I've done a lot of things in the sport I've been fighting for almost 20 years I've got two or three pride belts and a strike force belt as well and, and uh, I would have been completely satisfied to retire after my last fight Sure, what's gonna happen after this fight? But uh, that could have been the last one of my career. The UFC is the last belt that I set a goal to get. The stars aligned in the right way to, to make it happen. Michael Bisming really had nothing to offer until he, he won that belt. I lost that first fight, I always wanted a rematch. It's not about defending the title. It's about getting revenge against Dan Henderson, a man that knocked me out unconscious, a man that followed it up with a second vicious blow that could have rendered me brain damage for the rest of my life, but I put him in his place and wiped that smug look off his face. He can say whatever he wants. I know that I'm going to beat him up. I couldn't script a, a better finish to my career. He's not going to get that fairy tale ending that he wants. I'm going to make a fool out of him. I'm going to embarrass him. I'm going to leave him in a bloody mess. Adios, sayonara, whatever the f you want to say, Dan Anderson is done. and play now. Nearly 20 years he has been a professional mixed martial artist. Obviously, he's amongst the greatest fighter who ever lived. 46 years old, 47th pro fight, and he landed his first head kick in the winning of his <laughs> He gets it done, doesn't matter where, where it is. You know, talking to his coaches, they believe that his timing is really on point for this competition. He said he's seeing things in slow motion now. Dan feels that if Michael Bisbig fights him the way he fought Luke Rockhold, Dan said this could be an easy fight for me. Hendo, Dan Henderson. The rematch coming seven years, two months, and 27 days since UFC 100.
and six tonight. The 12th headliner, man, is he beloved here at home. Both times he has fought here, Brian, previously, he has won by second round TKO and earned fight of the night. There's no quitting him. There's no giving up. There's never been any strain in his belief in himself. He continues to work hard. Looks at his own game, constantly looking for ways to improve. A resting heart rate of 35 beats per minute. It's almost a corpse at this point. That's the kind of conditioning he's bringing into this fight. Despite his age, he feels like he's in the best shape of his career. And when you look at the striking, in his last two fights, sitting down on his punches. His left hook has become a very good power punch. Could be a huge weapon here tonight against Dan Henderson. Used it against Anderson Silva. Used it to win the belt against Luke Rockhold in his 26th UFC fight. It was his first title opportunity on 17 days notice. Tonight, Bisping joins Tito Ortiz and Frank Mir for tops all time. 27 fights inside the octagon. The champion! Michael Bisping! The champion is 37 years old. The challenger, nine years. His elder, Bisping, two inches taller. He will have a slight reach advantage. Once again, let's check in with Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Andreas Gruner, Jeff Mullen, and Andy Roberts. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This bout is sponsored by IconicFaceOff.com, the UFC social gaming partner. Real friends, real money, real time, and Twins.com. And Gears of War 4, available on October 11th on Xbox One and Windows 10. Get Gears of War 4, Ultimate Edition, and play now. And now, this is the moment UFC fans watching around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Manchester Arena in Manchester, England! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 32 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, USA, presenting the former pride, welterweight, and middleweight champion, and the former strike force, light heavyweight champion, the challenger, Dan. Henderson! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! A ballet judo fighter holding a professional record. 30 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England! Presenting! The reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael 
the Count Bisping! Michael. Gentlemen, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch that, do it now, go back to your corner. The rivalry began in 2009. It was the first time Michael Bisping had been knocked out at UFC 100. Hendo a bit, please. Bisping, you, seven years later, Thank you. for the title. You ready? Ready? Fight! Here we go! Black trunks for Bisping, white trunks for Henderson. Right away you see Michael Bisping sitting down in the stance a little bit. Don't forget, Gears of War 4 available October 11th on Xbox One and Windows 10. Play today with the Ultimate Edition. This place is awesome right now. Incredible. Whole crowd behind Michael Bisping. You can see he's seated in his stance, feet planted, looking to deliver powerful, powerful shots, but wants to come in and be patient. Wants to drag this in the third, fourth, or fifth round. Feels like he, every round this fight goes, his advantage grows. It is 4.50 a.m. and we are sold out. Every single night this week, Michael Bisping has been in the gym at this time. Every night, very disciplined, stayed on U.S. time, so he'd be ready to defend this belt. Henderson was in trouble early against Lombard, but landed the head kick, finished the fight. He is always dangerous. Both of these men have an incredible ability to recover. We saw it two times against Shogun Hua. We saw it with Dan Henderson against Hector Lombard with Michael Bisping. We saw it against Anderson Silva. He was hurt badly, came back. He's been rocked many times in his career, come back to win the fight. Thus, Brian, the early caution and discipline of the champion. Yes, you see Dan Henderson whiffs on the H-bomb, smiles at Michael. But Hendo, who was very patient against Hector Lombard, had excellent timing with his right hand. Dan likes to set up the H-bomb with that low kick from the left side. The right side of Dan Henderson's chin has seen it's been the button in recent years. Where when guys can connect on that right side, that will tend to drop him. Now he has recovered as well. No one has landed more total strikes than Michael Bisping. Tops all time in significant strikes. Second all time in total strikes in the middleweight division. Nearly 1,500. And he connects there. He's doing a really nice job. Not fully committing to each strike. Throwing it just enough to connect, but then get out of the pocket. There's a cut on the forehead, right on the nose of Bisping. So Henderson caught him somewhere. Yeah, right in the forehead. Yep. Henderson with the double jab. Two-time Olympian. Henderson being smart, being very patient, keeping his right hand very high. Ooh, a lot of blood starting to come down on the face of him. He's been fighting for a long time, built up a lot of scar tissue. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, represent your country pride with the UFC Fight Kit, now available in new colors. Get your jersey at ufcstore.eu. Yeah, Michael Bisping pumping the jab, pumping the jab, but doing a nice job pushing back off his left foot, getting out of range of the counter strikes of Dan Henderson. Is being representing Great Britain. The nation's pride on his shoulders here. This feints from Dan Henderson. Excellent idea if he wants to draw out the jab of Michael Bisping and then uncork that right hand. He just Swing misses there. Very disciplined first round by the champion. There you get a look at the head movement that's really been key for him in his last two fights. 
in the pocket. Michael's always been hard to hit at range, but he has done a nice job. Oh, he's wide! The right hand again! Henderson! Looking for the finish! Can Bisping recover? Big elbow! He's trying to get home, but he can't. And Dan is going crazy on top with that right hand. Bisping up for now! Look at the smile on the face of Dan Henderson. We talked about the conditioning. That's what it gains you. Look at the swelling of the left eye of the champion. He's been smiling going back to the stool. Breathing. He got to the right hand. Got to stay focused in there, Mikey. You're fine. Shake it off. Give me an ice bag. Give me an ice bag. Hey, you're fine. Slow it down. Water right here. You're good. So Jason, you got the cut, you're going to deal with that. You've dealt with cuts before. Come on. Your condition's there, man. His mouth's opening already. All right, stay focused in there, all right, bud? Hey, you were winning that round. He caught you at the end, all right? Get to the right hand, all right? all right? Let's take a look at the big right hand. Mike goes to the left hook, and there you see he's open. Beautiful, well-timed counter from Dan Henderson. He stayed patient, waited for the right opportunity, got his head off center line, came right over the shoulder. And unbelievable that Michael Bisping was able to recover because Dan landed a lot of shots on top. UFC 204, Bisping versus Henderson 2. Sponsored by Gears of War 4, available on October 11th on Xbox One and Windows 10. Get the ultimate edition and play now. Bisping told Jason Perillo, I'm all right. He said, what did he get me with? The right hand. He's been there before. Michael Bisping's been rocked in round one, come back and made the adjustments. But that's against guys that don't have the kind of power that Dan Henderson possesses. Brian Henderson landing the big right early in the fight. How does that change the complexion of this rematch? Well, you would think it would make Michael Bisping a little bit more hesitant, but he just went right back to that lead left hook again which is the punch he got countered but remember when guys get rocked like that he didn't remember what hit him so mike doesn't realize that it came off that left hook well, look at the swelling under the left eye of michael bisbee his corner did not press that down and use the proper things to reduce the swelling head kick they're gonna chop down the leg of henderson Bisping wants to start to put together those combinations that he has been so successful with over his career. And he should stick with the jab, stick with the left leg kicks, get rid of the lead left upper or left hook. Instead, look for the left hook after he throws the right hand. It's much harder to counter. Keep an eye on the cardio of Henderson. When it became somewhat obvious to Dan that the Michael was going to be okay, he did slow down. He saved some of his energy for here in round two and the rest of the fight. And he threw about 50 elbows yes, on top of did. Mike with everything he had. His mouth is wide open right now. And that's what Jason Perillo talked about in between rounds. Don't forget, immediately following our main event right here, check out the UFC 204 post-fight show on FS2, streaming live on Fox Sports Go. In Canada, flip over to TSN. Mike's starting to find his rhythm. Nice hit down, that rocked him. Very nice. Again with the right hand though. But he took it, you saw a grin there from Michael Bisbing. And again, Hendo counters with the right hand. You can see Mike is looking to land something to the right side of Dan Henderson's chin. And we talked about that this week, and he said, yeah, he saw that on tape, that that's been a little bit of a button. Following up with another kick. But you can't lose focus for a second against Dan Henderson. I don't care how tired he is, how hurt he is. I mean, he was losing clearly to Shogun Hua. And in the third round, uncorked a right hand from hell and finished. I mean, let's just look back to his last fight against Hector Lombo. And there you 
see Mike's being smart. He's coming forward being aggressive, but immediately getting out of range. Putting together combinations, he is certainly the aggressor here. And Hendo's a vet. He knows he's got five rounds. He's going to take this round off a little bit, regain all of his steam. He'll do so. He's been here so many times before. Over oh, he's rocked! Again, that body shot hurt him. He did it go wrong. Kick, kicked him in the corner. backing up. It appeared a moment ago, before Henderson rocked him, that Evil Dean missed a groin shot. Yes. Henderson was trying to signal to it, but it didn't really matter anyways. Just when we thought Bisping had taken control. The heart on both of these guys. Very smart of Michael Bisping. Tie him up. No effective ground and pound here so far as Michael Bisping recovers. Henderson's got to pummel that right arm inside. Trying to alter the breathing of Bisping. You see Henderson trying to posture up here late in the second. And this very well could put Dan Henderson up two rounds. I mean, Michael Bisping clearly went in that round. Outstruck him by a good amount. and happy to just stay on top here. Yep. Stay focused, Mikey. Come on, let's sit down. Breathe in. You, you let him catch you at the end of each round. You're good. You're right hand again. Listen. Every time you go... Bisping makes a miss, comes with the right hand, stuns him, follows it up, and there's the kick to the groin. Hey, not Michael Bisbing's fault. That's Eve Levine who needs to stop that action. Bisbing going right after him, looking for the finish. But leaves that left hand lingering, and that's what happens. Boom! You're really taking over in this fight. You stay focused. You see him go low. You see him go low, he's going to throw that right. Corner of Dan Henderson. Hey, don't, don't worry about now. Don't worry about anything. It's all mental. The cut under the eye, the left eye of Brisbane. Right where Henderson wants to put that right hand. The whole world, Brian, knows it's coming, and he still delivers, and he still connects. Uh, and there are an awful lot of fighters who wouldn't even think to get up after that. But Michael Bisping continues to fight through it. I mean, incredible heart. He's got so many qualities, but that one that's not talked about enough. Open. Absolutely. He had the switch kick to the body a moment ago. A big right hand landed there by Bisping. Jason right back Verrilli Verrilli. said, you're starting to take control of this fight. What I didn't hear, and he may have said it, because we didn't have the mic on the whole time, but when the only time Mike's getting hit is when he gets lazy with his left hand and he drags it back low instead of back to his face. Third round. The one thing missing in the trophy case, one of the greatest of all time, the UFC belt. And he has come extremely close twice now yep. to getting that wrapped around his waist. The closest he has in his career, ever. That's the thing, I mean, he could be tired. It doesn't matter with this guy. He could throw no punches into the last 30 seconds. If he just lands one, it could end the fight. Last title opportunity was in 2008 for Hendo. Now, I think this is a really smart game plan by Dan Henderson. He doesn't need volume. He knows he's not going to outpace Michael Bisping in 25 minutes. Stay impatient, and he's looking for what he does best, and that's the knockout. Bisping pressuring again. Here with three on the clock. One of that switch kick to the body. Saw it wasn't there. 
Henderson's done a great job. His right hand has been attached to that right side of his face for most of this fight. For most of his career. Nice left kick from Michael Big. Total strikes thus far in our fight. Oh my. Doesn't matter. You don't need to count the strikes yeah. of Dan Henderson, right? Who Quick cares? Switch, yep. There's been two strikes of his that really matter, the ones that put Michael Bisping on the floor. Exactly. Now, right back where we were in round two. He's being in a rhythm. He's been keeping his range. We heard Jason Pill tell him, stay focused. He's got to stay focused here and not get caught. The first British UFC champion looking to defend here in his hometown. Colorful. Heritage, lineage, and all kinds of personality as he fires that left hand three, four times. He landed several punches in that exchange. Dan did land one right hand. Swelling under the left eye doesn't look as bad, though. No, it doesn't. They treated it properly in between rounds that time. Jab connects for Hendo. Bisbee's starting to faint a little bit. Doing an excellent job. Getting back in and out of the pocket using good footwork here. Body. 46 years old. Right back up. Deep breaths for Dan Henderson. Look at the numbers. And look at all the fakes from Michael Bisping. This is an excellent adjustment. He's fainting, 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 not giving Dan Henderson the chance to time that big bomb. This is much like he did against Anderson Silva. Did it against Anderson Silva, did it against me, he did it to a lot of fighters where he gets rocked early, makes the proper adjustments, comes out on top and wins the fight. Big deep breaths from Henderson. His body shots. Landing with big force. The champ. And Hendo's looking to catch his breath. He knows. <laughs> but when he does have the energy, when he gets his win back, that's where Henderson needs to throw more combinations. He's looking and he's done a good job oh. so far. There it is again of timing that right. That time Michael was able to get out of harm's way more. He rolled with it a lot better. He wasn't yes. coming straight into it as he raises the head kick there and Henderson he smiles at him. We're headed to the championship round. Right now, you're starting to take control. There you go. Sit down, Dan. They, they should all wipe right here. You look good, Dan. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hey, no, no more rounds like that. No more round like that, okay? No. No, no more rounds like that, man. You see, when you go after, you hit him. You can't, you can't just wait and hit him and score points. Hey, you're down this round. You gotta go for some. Take his shots up and put them together a little bit more. Very good work. That jab looks good. Stay behind it. Look really good, Mikey. All right, let's start pulling away now. All right, these next two rounds are ours. All right, stay focused in there. Beautiful round, Mike. No seconds out. Yeah. First UFC Step fight back, for Henderson was in Thank May you. of 1998. Fight! Championship rounds. Tenth time Henderson scheduled for five rounds in the UFC and in his strike force fights. The last time Dan Henderson was in the fourth round was back in 2011 in his first fight was Shogun Hua, and he faded badly in that fight. Gassed in the last round. He was mounted for pretty much the entire time of round number five. And he still won the decision. Yes. But Michael Bisping clearly won round three. Hendo clearly won round one. Round two will be interesting to see how they score, because Bisping really controlled the bulk of it. Also rocked Henderson, but Hendo dropped him violently.
Bisping again looking to mix it up. Sandler looking hand, for that spot, right, Brian? Oh, there, there it is. is. Times it. But now, fourth round. Mike smiles at him, talking to him a little bit there as well. Not the same pop it had in rounds one and two, obviously. Henderson has only been stopped three times in his career by knockout of TKO. And they really wanted Dan to back Michael Bisping up. And he does so very well when he works behind his jab. Let's see if Dan Henderson can get more offensive here in this round. As his corner told him, you can't sit back and wait like you did in round three. See if we can put Heavy kick from Hendo. Now. Jason Perillo. Three minutes. Hey, watch out right. And to right. To right. Let's go down. That's the second time. I know him. Take your time. Dan Henderson should take every no, minute stay there, of this. Catch all of his That's air. That's the second time, Michael. We have to be careful with yes, that, yes, okay? Yes, yes, Next yes, time, I may come starting the adapting point, okay? Come on. And so Levine recognizing, recognizing that first one. Just be careful now. Just be fight, careful, Ryan, okay? Second time, Dan said. So, Levine how are you now? Yeah, he clearly oh, missed the first one. Okay. How much time? He has up to five minutes. Smart, Dan Henderson. Absolutely. He's going to max it. He's going to max it. Shaking it on a little bit. None of this stuff works, by the way, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> I've tried it all. So, how are you feeling now? <laughs> how do you think he feels, he? Okay, got the whole time in the world. Who's been taunting him, mocking him, saying he's milking it. That will have absolutely no effect on him. This is it. All right. His okay. final opportunity. Mr. Bisbing, just be careful, okay? Good. You ready? Ready? Time in. Fight. We continue. Could he could have given Dan Hendo the time he needed to get his win. And uncork one more bomb. Which you pointed out earlier, that right hand not as dynamic as it was earlier. Could it be now after that break in the action? Yeah, I'll tell you what, a 50% Dan Henderson punch will still probably knock out the bulk of the middleweight division. Man, he was close in round one. Oh. And with that break, you can see Bisping being cautious again like earlier in the fight. Fakes and feints, retreating after every jab. Now there's what Dan Henderson needs to do more. Back Michael Bisping up, trap him against the fence. Much harder to evade an overhand right or a big right hand when you're trapped against the fence. Bisping, ninth time scheduled for five rounds in the UFC, is five and three in those fights. Mike continues to kick at that right arm as well. The fifth time he's gone into the championship round. Well, this is exactly where Michael Bisbee wanted the fight to go. He visualizes, trained for it, wanted to go to the later rounds. Nice combination there, though, from Dan Henderson. He's starting to throw a little bit more volume. Just missed with the overhand right there. One thing is though, when Dan Henderson gets more offensive, he's also open to more counter shots as well. Hendo never really known for being a sound defensive fighter. <laughs> he just waits for his opportunity and knocks people out. Third grade is when he started wrestling represented the United States in two Olympic games. The only man to hold two belts simultaneously in MMA. Yeah, people 
People joke in America about how tough Chuck Norris is. Dan Henderson makes Chuck Norris wet the bed. And how about the win over Fedor? He's been doing a nice job staying busy at range. Season three, ultimate fight. Ten seconds could be another solid round. Clear round for Michael Bisbee, but he ain't knee there, no. You gotta stay focused in there, bud. He's throwing a lot of ones right now. Let's see if he can faint. At least faint before him, all right? Get him to bite a little bit, because he's trying to time yeah, it. Know. You know what he's doing. That's why I want to give him here, right here. Give it to me. You got it. Stay relaxed. Stay focused. The last round right now. You stay focused, stay ahead the whole round. You got it. Just a little more faint. Keep make, make him throw wild by faint. Okay. Then make him pay. All right, you look good. He's afraid of your right hand. You take the fight to him. Breathe, breathe. He, he won that belt. Let's go get it now. Let's get go get it. It's time. It's the last round. This is the round of your life. Let's go. Seconds out. Five minutes remain. Step back a little bit. Last round, Mr. Bisbee. Step back a little bit. Thank you. Fight. Corner, screaming at Henderson, wanting him to go after it. Seems to be breathing better at the start of the fifth than he did in the fourth. This game gets creative. Henderson again looks for that knee. Well, it's combinations like that where Dan Henderson can catch you. Michael Bisping being very smart and avoiding the pocket right now at all costs. Controlling range, working behind his jab with lots of feints. Nice combination there for Dan Henderson. Hendo, 17 of 18 career finishes by strikes. Hendo starting to go hunting now. Four minutes. This rivalry, the bad blood, all the animosity. Deep down there is huge respect shared between these two men. And it's building throughout this great fight. Hendo's corner. Henderson's having a really hard time reaching Michael Bisping. He's starting his combination to center the octagon. He's got to force and push Michael Bisping back to get his back against the fence. Now he's got him there. Now is where he needs to unleash. Bakes the takedown. It's a nice knee to the body, though. Three minutes. Much closer round in terms of strikes landed here in the fifth than it was in the fourth. Really. Not sure how the referees would have scored round two. Round one, clearly Dan Henderson. He may have stolen round two with a big knockdown. Midway point of the fifth and final round. The last round of Dan Henderson's career. At least that's what we think. Here's Bing. Looking to defend at home. Caught him with the hook at the end. Hendel's going to go for it here, Brian. He takes a look at the clock. Upper drop. Two minutes. No doubt. He is firing him. Just a really nice job from Michael Bisbing. Keeping his distance, not really committing too much. And Hendo gets him there with the right hand. inside. 145. On a 
takedown. Well done. Beautiful knee tap there from Dan Henderson. Going back to the basics. Wrestling 101. Very smart. A minute 29 left. Top position for Dan Henderson. Here's Benzak. Still, though, that score. Big in this round. He's landed some significant strikes. Really could be anybody's round with a minute to go. Anybody's fight. Yeah, exactly. One minute. over seven years in the making. And it has not disappointed. Hendo looking for another takedown. Bisping fights it off. Good defense there from Michael Bisping. And now, Henderson launches a right hand. Let's see if Bisping starts putting together some combinations in the last 30 seconds. Effective striking is a key component to the judge's scorecard. And he's got to be careful. Doesn't want to rush in and get dropped by Hendo. Ten seconds remain. They go the distance. Excellent fight. How Michael Bisping managed to survive those two knockdowns in rounds one and two. Incredible heart. A very strategic approach from Dan Henderson. He paced himself. He's able to come alive at the right times. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Raise Wanda right now. There's the first big right hand. Drops Michael Bisping in round one. Boom! And Hendo unleashed on top. Expended a lot of energy here looking for the finish. Bisping survives it. Smiles going back. He would stun Dan Henderson and rock him here in round two. Groin shot. Evil Bean doesn't see it. Doesn't matter because Henderson would come back with another beautifully timed counter overhand right. Dropping Michael Bisping again and dominating the final seconds of round two in top position. But then in the championship rounds, Michael Bisping would find his rhythm, start to control this fight, landing combination after combination, getting his rhythm, and then there in round five, a much closer round. Here's the end of round five, goes to the flying knee, lands a left, Henderson does a forward roll, and Bisping landed some decent ground and pound there, maybe enough to win him that round. That was a very close fifth round. Time for our official decision. Brought to you by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the blazing fast. 4G LTE T-Mobile Network for just $30, period. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 48-47, and 49-46 for the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Michael the Count Champion, Michael Bisping. Michael, people talk about your skill tonight, your heart. Incredible. Please give us your thoughts on your first title defense. First of all, give it up for Dan Henders, everybody. This guy is incredible. At his age, he just kicked my ass, man. Dan, 
Good job. He's took us all boots and all the trash talking. You've got to respect the guy's a legend. Round of applause. Um, what's up, Manchester? The support that you guys show me melts my heart every time. Seriously, I know it's cliche because I say it every time, but this place sold out in six minutes. I don't even know what to say. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I mean that. I'm not being cheesy. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Calamel and Lucas. I love you. These guys here, all of them. My old man, come here, Dad. Come here, Dad. My mum's here. Mum, what's up? My family at home, everybody. Thank you all. In Manchester, come on. Thank you. Seven years you waited to avenge that loss. How happy are you with this victory in your first title defense, Mike? Oh, uh, you know, listen, I know people spoke and said, oh, you know, he's not number one contender or anything. This guy knocked me out cold. Cold. Worst knockout in UFC history. The jitters that I had this week. It's all well and good having bravado, but stepping in here, look at my face for crying out loud. You know what this guy can do? That took a lot of courage for me to do that. I'm not bigging myself up, but I guess I am. But what was the question, Brian? It doesn't matter, Mike. The, the, the performance was incredible. The recovery was incredible. Now, we've got a lot of middleweight fights coming up. What are you looking for in the next challenger for your belt? First of all, again, Manchester, thank you all so much. The UK, England, and Scotland, Wales, thank you all. I'll take this to my grave. Now, that's out of the way. Forgive my language, all you fucking assholes in the rest of the division. What, Weidman? What the hell? You lost your last fight. I've had three victories since you got your ass kicked off Luke Rockhold. Rockhold, I knocked you out in three minutes, buddy. Yo, Romero, you're suspended for steroids. Shame on you and Jackery. You just got me off your ass. All of you, win a fight, get off the couch, and fucking let's do this. Nothing left to say. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Michael Bisbee. I'm here with all-time great, one of the best to ever do it. Dan, incredibly close fight. What happened with the cheers before the fight? Everybody respects you. Everybody's wondering, Dan, is this the last time we see you in the octagon? Yeah, I guess fortunate for you guys. Unfortunate for those who didn't come, that was the last time that I'm gonna, that anyone will see me fight live. So, I appreciate I appreciate all the support throughout the years, worldwide. You know, I gave my heart and soul to this sport, and fans like you, even though you booed me at the beginning of the night, made it worthwhile for me to keep competing year after year. You know, I just uh, absolutely love the sport. And I wanna, I wanna say thank you to the fans for making this fight happen, and thank you to Michael Bisbee for giving me this opportunity. My last fight for the belt, you know, I, I came up a little short, but not bad for an old man, huh? I wish, I wish they judged the fight on how you look after the fight. Dan, it's been an honor, an honor to watch you fight, an honor to call your fights. You will forever go down as one of the best ever future Hall of Famer. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Henderson. I just want to say hello to my kids at home. They didn't make the trip. They missed my last fight, but they saw it live on TV. Hello, Reese, Sierra, Sophie, and Danny. I love you guys, and I'll be home soon. The champion defends here at home. His opponent, his next stop, is the Hall of Fame. Michael Bisping, by unanimous decision, and I like what Hendo says. I wish they judged the fight by how you look afterwards. What a battle. Back and forth it was. Hard courage, everything shown in this fight.